I was watching one of those paranormal shows and just to see what's going on and I noticed that when these people had these experiences with the uh, extraordinary experiences with poltergeists or ghosts or whatever that the first thing that they did was they called in a paranormal team followed by uh, cleansing the place usually with smudging or sometimes with a priest or a psychic and this seemed completely normal now I don't know if y'all you know how old you guys are but 30 years ago when I was 20 you know when I was 27 this would not be happening you know you did not tell people about it to begin with you certainly there were not paranormal teams that you could call on and certainly not enough psychics to match those par those paranormal teams calling in for uh, help anyway not people that would admit it straight up so yeah, it was amazing so this is the kind of thing that as things change little by little a lot of times you don't notice that it's changing but if you look back big picture it's a, a big 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 change now I've talked to you guys I've had a couple videos on talking to your dead loved ones and you'll notice that whenever I say that that it's always dead loved ones so let's go into this a little bit because I do not do fear tactics at all so you guys are very aware that I have talked about you talking to dead loved ones the entities that are what you would classically think of as ghosts that look like a human or even a demon or even uh, uh, give me just about five minutes uh, a demon or shadow or whatever these guys are just right outside the vibration of a, a human being as you think of them so any these are not the same beings as when I tell you with your loved one to think of them and talk to them okay now even though there's no such thing as time space I don't have a choice but to talk about it like there is because you have nothing to go off of so think of it like this the, your your loved ones and anybody I've talked to this is the case your loved one is out running around doing their thing having a wonderful time you call them they pop in next to you or uh, they want to give you a message because you've asked for their help so they'll come and tap you on the shoulder or make themselves known or attempt to make themselves known to give you a message but the entities that are what you would think of as ghosts or poltergeists that lived from a long time ago these are completely different this is a different completely thing completely different thing and these entities are in a place that are definitely more negative vibes okay uh, almost always you will hear sadness loss anger uh, vindictiveness all of those negative vibes so they're just kind of kind of think vibrationally uh, next to instead of up or down next to vibrationally human beings so those guys most of the time whenever people are dealing with those kind of beings you're dealing with lower vibrations now most all of you are well past those vibrations so there would be no reason for you to interact with any of those kind of beings there are psychics and there are paranormal groups that they specialize in dealing with that vibration of being and they talk to the being and whether uh, they pretty much got classified like demonic and the demonic beings have had a lot of energy sent to them just like angels Jehovah God have lots of energy so if you call them in especially if you're afraid or subconsciously or if somebody else is or you've got any kind of fear then they're gonna feed on that and they're gonna be as scary as possible because they are feeding off of your fear so because we are well past fear and we're getting past judgment uh, they won't affect you so if by some off chance you interact with one um, the people that the psychics and stuff uh, priests and stuff that tell these guys to go away they still have a lot of vibrational concern they, they you can tell that it takes in their mind this takes a lot of work to get these beings gone 
Now you, with me at this point, realize that those, all of those beings, no matter what they are, no matter where they are hanging around at, no matter what they're doing, they're just creator gods in a role. And they're all in amnesia. Some form of amnesia. And that's how you look at them. And you simply say, with no fear, no big deal, go away. Because you know you don't have any, any question about whether or not you're powerful enough to make them go away. Because you know you're creator God. And they've forgotten that. And that's all you've got to do. Don't feed them anything. Don't give them any more attention than need be. But as you see these stories, which they will crop up around in your peripheral or people will talk about them, that's where they are. And you at this point um, are well past that vibration. You probably will not interact with them. But do they exist? Certainly they exist. Um, can they be very powerful? Certainly they can be very powerful. And it's all based on your belief system is what it's based on. So, if you have any kind of uh, belief in those things, they're more likely to be brought into your life because you're a creator God and what you say goes. But if you, for some reason, get drawn into it, uh, same way with the aliens that you don't want to have anything to do with, uh, very calmly, very collectedly, uh, center yourself into your Godhood, into your God self, and say, not interested, go away. I get it, you're playing a game, uh, more power to you, but you're not going to play it here. Move on. That's end of, end of story. End of story. It's real simple. Uh, the, the psychics that deal with these people, that is what they've chosen to do. It's a part of the role they're playing. Uh, the paranormal groups are doing the same thing. So I just wanted to throw this out to you guys to not ignore that those situations are out there. But it's kind of like the political arena. It really, at this point, has nothing to do with you. That's a completely different game. And uh, none, of, none of you that I'm aware of uh, are playing it. And I doubt anyone who is going to come and join us in the Family Collective, I really doubt they'll be playing that game either. Uh, that's a completely different game. And they, anybody that's playing in those arenas uh, probably will not be joining us. But I want you to know, you know, that they exist and that they're there and, and it's just another game. That's all. No, no big, de no big deal. Just another game. All right. Okay. That's it for this one. Uh, huge hugs. And yeah, I got back up there. Looks like it's going to hit 90 again, 30 degrees four days ago, five days ago, and 90 degrees today. And welcome to Texas. <laughs> all right. Huge hugs. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.